I'll give you 700. It's worth more. You're burnt! Hey, what's up, bitches? Cat here, and we are back to text Murphy Mean Streets. And next we are going to call Lee. That's right, call Lee. Uh, what do we do? Call Lee. We gotta call Lee. I don't know. I looked at the thing, it said call Lee, and he'll give me some information, and then I turn the browser off. Oh, Lee's a girl. Enhance, why am I enhancing this? What do you need, Murphy? I need you to tell me what to do. Oh my god, I didn't look up to ask what I'm supposed to talk to her about. Ask her? Sorry, can't help you. Can't help you. Well, let's go through the list, because let's turn the browser off. I, I wrote down every single person's code. So, if we get in a jam, we can look at that, because that would be in the manual that I don't have. So, I have that. And I have everything else I wrote down, so... Make me an offer. Make you an offer for what? Ten. No deal. What? No deal. That seems fair. Did I, did I even get anything? Did I, I just gave her a thousand monies. Make me an offer. Do I have to pay you every time I want to know something? No deal. That seems fair. You're a bitch. Okay, so I'm gonna get some faxes. I'm leaving you, cause you're a dick. Okay, who's the other person? Oh, incoming fax, no, go back. Okay, cool. Talk to Dolores Library. She may know where to find John Clouds. They were lovers once. Oh my god, I already know that! You stupid bitch. Hello, Tex. Hello. Can't help you there. Can't help you there. I'm supposed. To... Okay, here comes the facts. Here comes the fucking facts. God damn it. Sunny Fletcher stays at some rundown apartment in LA. Try five one seven zero. Yes, five one seven zero. Sunny Fletcher. Okay. Okay. Let's pilot. This takes so long to fly everywhere. Takes a long to fly everywhere. Okay, loading. The address for Sunny Fletcher is a rundown hotel that has been converted to apartments. I step into the small, seedy lobby and find the stairs. The stairwell is dark with garbage and old newspapers strewn everywhere. I find apartment 307 and open the door. Fletcher answers with the disposition of an untipped waiter. I tell him I'm working for Sylvia Linsky and he tells me to come inside. The room is cramped and confined. The furniture is cheap and the upholstery, I can't speak, is threadbare. A portable black and white TV is on a small table, blaring the sound of lifestyles of the incredibly rich, lucky, healthy, and famous. What are we going to talk to you about? We're going to talk to you about Overlord? Stick it, fish face. Cast card. No way, I've got nothing to say. No time for diplomacy. I threaten to bash and crack heads if I don't get the right information. The guy throws a haymaker and before I can block his punch, a fist the size of a ham, ham hock slams to the side of my head. When I finally regain consciousness, my head is ringing like five alarm fire. Sonny? Sonny? MTC? No way they'd find out how you got your information and I'd wind up floating in the bay. Well, threatening it doesn't work and I bribe you. What's your offer? Thanks, buddy. I'll tell you what I know. 
FPC is the Management Training Center for Gideon. It's a small facility where Gideon personnel attend training seminars. Then, about a year ago, MTC started hiring scientists. Most employees were not even aware this was going on. Rumor has it the scientists were hired to work on a secret project called Overlord. Okay, now will you tell me about Overlord? Oh my god, I have to bribe you again! You have to do better than that. Three hundred? Thanks, buddy. I'll tell you what I know. Other than what I've been told about Linsky's suspicions, I don't know anything about Overlord. Try Wanda Peck at the Chronicle, or you might try the former president of Gideon Enterprises, St. Jane Gideon. Okay, tell me about... Fucking talk to me about Wanda Peck. Tell me where Wanda Peck is. Oh, come on. How much money do I have to give you? Okay, you'll find her at... 4621. Want to pack 4621. Okay. So, did Dion make it worth my time? I haven't got all day. 300 monies. Thanks, but I'll tell you what I know. Gay Enterprises is a big electronics firm located at 4650. They special. 4650. Do I even have that? 4650. I don't have 4650. So. Right on the sign, side, Gideon 4650. Haha. -ha. One I didn't write down. They specialize in high tech secret work for the government. It used to be my run by run by J. St. Gideon, but now it's run by Frank Schmidlfring. Who's Frank Schmidlfring? I hear he forced Gideon out and took over the company. Frank Schmidlfring. I wrote that horribly. Okay, so, no, get out of here, go away. Okay, so we're gonna go to one the Pex house, 4621. Since the autopilot pilot is flying me in the right direction, whoops, don't hit the ground. I'm going to fly them myself. That way I can get closer to the ground. There we go. And I don't have to take so long to land, hopefully. Something in the sky. There went something in the sky. Where'd it go? What is that? What is in the sky? I'm getting closer. Is it a balloon? There is a balloon in the sky that's so cool. I'm coming in hot. This is so cool. Full stop. <laughs> All right, where is it? I'm I'm like on the ground right now. There we go. This doesn't seem too bad. Yes, I did it myself. I did it all myself. Inside the San Francisco Chronicle building, I look for Wanda Peck. I've always thought Wanda was good looking in a way, far away. But I like Wanda. She's a good, she doesn't look bad. She's a good source of information and she knows how this city is run. What am I supposed to talk to her about? Tell me about Gideon. Gideon is an electronic firm that is a parent company of MTC Corp. MTC? MTC really stands for Management and Control. The Management Training Center is just a front for a project called Overlord and Overlord. Overlord? Yeah, Larry Hammond wanted me to do some research on that. The Overlord project was developed 50 years ago in England. Scientists began work on a mental ability booster. The person's mental capacity by connecting his brain directly to a computer. Several scientists tried the experiment on themselves and the first, it worked. By stimulating untapped areas of the mind, they increased their IQs by 15 to 25%. But they also found they were extremely susceptible to suggestion. Commands given through the computer would be followed without question. The experimentation become more and more radical. 
Many of the scientists developed severe cases of psychosis, some committed suicide, and others died under mysterious circumstances. Flirtcher? Sonny, he was here a while ago asking me to check out a number of things, then he disappeared. Check what? Oh, come on. Um, what about you? I'm the woman for you, if you'd ever ask me. Well, she is cute. Um, I don't know what to ask her about. I don't know what to do now. Oh, I was supposed to go to Gideon. Okay. I was given the thing for Gideon as well. So, 4650. Alright. Also, fire lots in the Oh, am I right next to it? I'm right next to it. I could have just turned and did it. Oh well, we'll let the we'll let the car fly us there. We did a little flying. We did a little flying. It was fun. I don't have to climb to like eleven thousand whatevers before I can land. I don't get it. E. Ghirardelli. I tell security guard at Gideon Enterprises that I'm working on a murder case and that I'm here to talk to Frank Shishmaring. He leads me to the elevators and tells me to go to the 67th floor. A receptionist reception rift ushers me into a huge suite to talk to Mr. Shishmaring, the president of Gideon Enterprises. He is a slick looking man about 50 with gray hair and thick eyebrows. He doesn't look the least bit happy to see me. Which reminds me I am working a murder case. I should start asking people about Carl Linsky. Linsky, oh, the old scientist who committed suicide. I understand he had done some work for MTC Corporation, which is our management training center. The personal department could have told you that. Okay. Tell me about MTC. MTC is our management training center employees. Potential are sent there to acquire corporate decisions and making abilities. I personally think it is a waste of time. A manager either has the skills or he doesn't. Tell me about Sonne. Sorry, I can't help you. Um, want a peck? Can't help me. John Klaus. Klaus. The name is not familiar. I really don't have time to get to know everyone who works for me. Sorry, I can't help you. Shut up, phone. What about Jay St. Gideon? I replaced Mr. Gideon as president a year ago. He was a senile old man in his 80s, filled with insane ideas. He had lost the drive to run the company in a profitable manner, and I had to go. He's not telling me anything. Can I threaten him? I don't think I can threaten him. Tell me about Carl Linsky. Overlord. Overlord. Onverlord. That name means nothing to me. Pass card. Time out, Overlord. I stick my face next to his and say, Listen, meathead, give me the scoop or I'll beat your brains out. <laughs> Big mistake. Before I have the chance to do any more than shoot my mouth off, two guys appear from nowhere, work me over pretty good, and knock me out. I, as I regain my consciousness, I groggily realize I'm being thrown out the front door. Oh, Tex. Go back inside. Let's try to bribe this asshole. A bribe? What, is this a joke? Nobody's telling me anything. I've got a list of names here that I could just go to, a list of codes, but I want to do this proper. Have I asked him about Cal Davis? I couldn't possibly know every employee that works for me. Okay. He won't tell me anything about anything! Well, I'm, I really tried. I'm gonna have to look it up. I really tried. Larry Hammond is someone I'm supposed to be asking Wanda about. Okay, so either I'm just really, really fucking dumb or I'm not paying attention or something. Um, but I was supposed to ask Wanda Peck about Larry Hammond, but I don't remember actually hearing his name yet. Get off this case, he'll be sorry. That's nice. So I have to go back to Wanda Peck's house. I was really getting into this, but it's becoming so difficult. 
He is a brilliant computer specialist who has done some work for MTC Corp. He is considered an MTC to ask a guy named Ron Meat where to find him. Okay, why can't you just tell me where Ron Meat is? The guy is a real paranoid. He never stays in one place for very long. You'll have to check with your sources to find him, which is where Lee comes in. Okay, so I have to talk to Lee. What it worth? You're a bitch. I'll give you 500. It's worth more. You're mean. Give you 600. It's worth more. Nah. I'll give you 700. It's worth more. You're a bitch. You 800. That seems fair. Bye. Stupid mean lady. Mean. Okay, so where's the time? 1.35, so I've got a couple minutes. So since I know where Larry Hammond is, or Ron Meat is, I'm just gonna go ahead and put in the code. Because I have the code. And it says all the codes are in the manual, so why do I even have to do this? If all the codes are in the manual, then I don't need to pay anyone for questions. But I need to save. Let's save. And actually, let's leave this episode here. I'm about the effects anyway. Let's leave this episode here because I've been playing for a long time, but it's really hard to gauge how long to play for because I'm gonna cut out all the flying around and, you know, repetitive shit. So anyway, I think I've played long enough to make the size of a decent episode. So thanks for watching everybody, and I'll catch you later. Oh, wow.